Hello. So, our last assignment was to go and create a new bin, trash bin, but with the mesh of a cube. So, let's go ahead and do that. And pretty much we are going to use it and use the same tools that we used on the last time and yeah let's get started so we're going to tool mode edit mode and we're going to select the top we're going to to select insert face there you go if you want to press control whoops sorry so I want to go to insert face and there you go if you want to edit more if you want to edit with snapping you can go to increment and scale it right here press control click on the white side there you go there you go so let's select the face it lets us extrude it, we can extrude it from here or we can go with the hockey alt x go down and yeah that looks pretty good so I'm checking if so it doesn't go through the mesh if you want you can go inside go a little bit down whoops there you go looking good so we're going to select the edges let's press shift and alt and left click there you go let's do a bevel and hit control E bevel you can go up or down with your mouse and there you go so you can go and select the inside of the mesh and you can move it down there you go if you don't like the bottom of the trash bin you can select it and insert it to um bevel it let's bevel it control e bevel there you go you can put more segments or less segments do it again control E level there you go if you want you can go on the face alt X and extrude it or you can go up here 
an intruder. So we can pretty much look around, see how it looks. It's looking pretty good. Let's hit four. We're going to select on the bottom and we're going to go up or press spacebar so we can see from the top there you go let's see if we can scale it let's see how it looks in perspective pretty much looks almost the same let's go back and there you go hit 5 let's go back and scale it there you go it's looking better so it's like a stylized tra um, square trash bin so let's, let's go to our object mode let's pull it up and see what we got it looks good if you want um, you can do many variations of the same object and you can use the modifiers and go to array and here we can select and move um, duplicating the object and you can select how much space do you want on X Y and Z and how many objects do you want to be duplicated so we're going to select three, mm, two. Oops. Let's do three, and let's put zero, 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 and one. five there you go so we're going to have to apply on object mode and there you go and the problem is we are selecting multiple objects just just by clicking one object so we want to separate it we're going to edit mode press 4 wireframe and select all the faces let's press ctrl v separate selection we're going to do the same with the next one ctrl v separate selection and there you go we're going to object mode and hit 5 there you go we have separated our matches so we're going to centralize our origin so we're going to select the object we're going to origin origin to geometry and we're going to do the same to the next one and there you go we have totally separate objects so we're going to do a little variation of the same um, square trash bin we're going to scale it on X we're going to scale this one on scale this one on Y select and press Y Do it on X. There you go. There you go. So let's say I want to snap them very close using the snapping tool. So we're going to select snap 
element by face and we're going to hit control select the axis and there you go select the other one to select the axis and control there you go or if you want to increment it by there you go so that that's how it works on every single one or if you want to snap it um, without using the hotkeys there you go I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard so that's pretty much it so see you guys later.